Welcome to Take 10 for this week. Um, September the 21st each year is an international day of peace, uh, sometimes known as World Peace Day. On this day, the United Nations calls for a ceasefire of all hostilities. But it goes way beyond that because it seeks to find solutions for long-lasting peace around our world. There are two types of peace, external and internal or inner. External peace does very much refer to a freedom from persecution, an absence of conflict. It's about respect and harmony, love, care, and compassion for all mankind. It's centered around an ability for us to coexist despite our differences. This year's theme for World Peace Day has an added focus of making peace with nature, caring for our natural world. Martin Luther King once said, if we are to have peace on earth, our loyalties must transcend our race, our tribe, our class, our nation. And this means we must develop a world perspective. One of the things that I love about Table Talk, which is a weekly activity I run, is to witness the formation of deep, meaningful and long-lasting friendships between students from vastly different backgrounds, cultures and religions. Students have said, Table Talk is the perfect opportunity to meet new people, to make friends and learn about new cultures. I have learned a lot about other cultures and I've made friends from around the globe. Table Talk has taught me to respect other cultures and religions. External peace is only possible if we are truly willing to embrace our differences. Inner peace, rather than relating outwardly to society, is something much more personal. It is a state of mind, body and soul. Wayne Dyer, who's an American motivational speaker, said, peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is, rather than as you think it should be. Peace of mind helps us to find strength and comfort in the face of adversity. It strengthens our resolve. The book of Galatians in the New Testament lists peace as one of the nine fruit of the Spirit. Now this <clears throat> isn't an exhaustive list, but to find inner peace we can maybe do several things. Firstly, keep short accounts, making forgiveness second nature. Be honest and true to ourselves, knowing our values and standing by them. Paying attention to the things we can control and letting go of the rest. Seeking to serve others, uh, not only is this rewarding, it helps us to look beyond ourselves and our own concerns. Cultivating a grateful heart and practicing gratitude daily. Taking care of our physical well-being in the form of eating well, getting adequate sleep and exercise. Taking time for self. We cannot effectively care for others unless we care for ourselves. Setting healthy boundaries around our time 
our energy and our relationships. Cultivating good friendships and a healthy support network that we can call on in times of need. Slowing down, decluttering, simplifying life even by the smallest degree and not allowing the words and actions of others to destroy our inner peace. As we prepare to enter a new academic year, I hope and pray that you will know both internal and external peace. Bless you.